Thank you once again for coming to attend this presser, uh, which I'm going to, to address uh, today. Uh, we thank you, especially members of the media fraternity, for continuing to, to report on the fight that we have uh, just started, uh, the struggle against uh, uh, corruption, where we want to see a corrupt free Zimbabwe, where we also want to see uh, uh, the downfall of uh, the blood-sucking uh, vampires in the name of cartels. As, as we alluded to last time when we met here at the media center, uh, some of you have been asking, say, where is uh, his partner? <laughs> Uh, we, we, we cannot see him. Uh, I think uh, you speak on his own behalf if you want to know where he is and, 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 and what's going on. So, like I said uh, last time when, we, uh, when I made the introductory remarks to the presser that we had on, on Monday, I said we were speaking on behalf of ourselves and, and of uh, our peers, of our generation and generations to come. I didn't even say we were speaking on behalf of the party, on behalf of a faction or any grouping. I said we are speaking on our own behalf uh, because our conscience is, is, is push, pushing us to do so. So I maintain that position today that I'm not a representative of the party, neither am I a representative of a faction an organization or grouping. I'm just but an individual who has uh, chosen to take up this fight against uh, corruption, which I believe is, is uh, crippling all the efforts to resuscitate this economy, to get Zimbabwe back uh, on, on, its, on its railway and also on its feet. So all of you are well aware that... Uh, uh, my party had a Politburo meeting on, on Wednesday, and I'm, I'm not a member of that Politburo. I was a central committee member in the party, being the supreme policy-making organ of the party, and a member of the National Executive of the ZANU-PF Youth League, where I was the National Political Commissar, charged with the responsibility to organize, mobilize, and recruit for, for the party. That was my assignment in the party. Uh, I have not yet received any formal communication from the party leadership regarding their position. Uh, like we have been reading uh, in the newspapers, we have seen videos of uh, the then acting sector for administration, Comrade Chinamasa, saying uh, they have uh, uh, given us a one year uh, suspension and they, have, uh, uh, they are instructing us to go to Chitepo Ideological College for a good three months uh, where we must be drilled uh, to, to, to get to appreciate uh, the party ideology. So we, we haven't got any formal communication from uh, the party regarding that matter. But, uh, well, uh, I don't think, uh, even if I'm to get that official communication, it's going to change uh, my, my, my view, my conviction, or anything that I choose to stand for. Uh, I came into the party on my own. No one invited me to, to, to be a member of ZANU-PF. And uh, it was because of uh, the way uh, I, I had chosen it to be. So I, I will continue to be a member of, of, of the party in whatever uh, capacity. Because for me... It's not about the position that you hold in a party which, which then uh, pushes you to do certain things or to think otherwise. I'm one person who cannot be forced to act dumb, deaf and blind uh, because I belong to, to a certain organization. I have a conscience. Which conscience is driving me to, to come out and, 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 and put up this, this fight? Whether I'm going to succeed or not, it's neither here nor there, but I don't want history to remember me as, as one person who, who worked hard 
to to make sure that uh, Zimbabweans <laughs> continue to fight by perpetuating uh, corrupt uh, activities and corrupt systems which are uh, disadvantaging uh, the generality of the people. Uh, being a national political commissar of the party, I was strategically positioned with all the influence and the connections to make sure that I continue to, to be in the comfort zone, having access to every office that I would have wanted to access, be it of the president or the vice president, of anyone you can think of, I had access. And, and, and no one could have stopped me from also joining the bandwagon of looting and accumulating uh, wealth at the expense of, of the people and at the expense of those who are supposed to, we are supposed to lead. But I, I have a conscience uh, to say uh, legacy lives, uh, wealth lasts a lifetime, but legacy lives uh, beyond one's lifetime. And, and a good name is good than any material uh, gain that you may, you may have. Uh, I, I, I just got information this morning that uh, some, some of our uh, guys have uh, decided to, to, to hit back and, uh, and uh, are organizing in their own way to make sure that they silence uh, me there have been efforts, especially yesterday, to make sure that uh, I go on mute, I conform to uh, what's happening, I join the choir of the praise singers and, and everything. Uh, but I decided to say, no, I'm not going to, to do that. I'm not against the party, neither am I against its leaders. I'm, I'm not against a, a faction or any grouping, either real or perceived. I'm not. I am for my, for my generation. So if, if God, God has just decided that I have to, to, to die at this moment, I've said, no, I don't have any, any, any problems with that. Tongo, for the record, knows, knew very well that he was not going to make it into the new Zimbabwe, and he said it, that I will not be able to to be with you in the new Zimbabwe. But all he said is, uh, uh, he said his wishes as to what uh, he wanted to see in a new Zimbabwe. All of those trees that provide you with shed, you are not the ones who, who planted them. Those who planted them maybe are long gone. If they had been selfish to think that uh, I will not live to see uh, this uh, tree coming uh, up and providing me with shed, I don't think they were going to, to plant those trees. So I've refused to be selfish and, and, and to be muted for, for, uh, so, so that I continue to enjoy benefits. Uh, I have uh, a car from, from the party because of the position that I had, a very good uh, salary because I was employed full-time at the party HQ as a national political commissar. I would have chosen to say, I'm getting fewer, I'm getting this, I'm getting that, I'm getting this. Well, why should I uh, do these things? Because I risk losing all these benefits. But uh, no, uh, I don't think it's, 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 it's right. It's like you are, you, are, you are on the road, but on, then you witness someone hitting uh, a pedestrian on the road, and you are the only person who has witnessed that, then uh, there are consequences of, of choosing to, to report to the police. The police will be always on your case. You will always be arraigned before the courts as a witness where they will say, provide the evidence. You don't have anything. Neither you have pictorial or video evidence to substantiate your claim. So you can make you can make a decision to say, no, I'm not going to, to do that. Why should I uh, get myself into this trouble? I have to, to concentrate on what brings food to my table. And this has been uh, everyone, the majority of the calls that I've been getting to say, no, cool down, uh, no, you'll be taken back to the party, all sorts of things. Uh, no, the leadership will revise the no. I'm not contesting the decision of the leadership. 
I'm not. I don't have any problem with being suspended from the party, and this is not my first time. I was suspended by Mayim Jun when she was VP, but she thought I was not to towing the line in our province, because she was uh, the most senior member from our province. And I was suspended for six months. And after that, uh, I was suspended also summarily, without any hearing, without any trial, uh, by the G40 uh, people. And after they thought that maybe the suspension was not enough, they then decided to, to expel me from the party. And uh, as if that was not enough, they arrested me a good five times. I had uh, ten charges when uh, the new dispensation came in. <coughs> uh, subversion charges, of trying to topple a legitimately elected government, uh, uh, undermining the authority of the president, intimidating and threatening the first family, all sorts of charges. At one point, when I was granted bail, uh, I was at the Arar Central Remand Prison. And when they got news that I had been granted bail by the High Court, because mine was the third stage offense, the guys from the police were also sent uh, in two cars to come and fetch me uh, to the arrest central police station again for more charges. And after being given bail, I could not test freedom. I had to go back into the cells so that... Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I see reason in, in, in towing the line and, and, and cooling down. But I said, no, uh, we have to continue. So here we are. To, to those who have been assigned to, to deal with me, please uh, enjoy the benefits or uh, the 30 cents, the 30 pieces of silver you have been given. Uh, but go and tell your masters, whoever the Ah, that uh, I'm not backing down because I'm not fighting the party neither am I fa fighting any leader or anyone I've just said cartels must fall I've just said corruption is harming the good efforts being done by the leadership so there is no reason for anyone then to suspend me why would you suspend me for naming people who are outside the party when we named the likes of Obeti Mpofu, uh, Joram Gumba and others who have positions in the party, what you only did was to set up a commission. Which commission died, had a still birth? It could not even see the light of the day. They have not even set for a single meeting. So that was a, a minor crime to, to challenge a whole sector for administration of the party. You smiled at it. And now we have touched mem nine members of the party. They do not even have a, a, a membership card of the party except for, for Tafazu Amsarar. Billy Rottenberg doesn't even know how to chant a slogan. <laughs> and, 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 and the leadership saw it fit to make sure that they crush our political careers and save these... Uh, uh, this Billy and, uh, and Kuda, well, the leadership in its wisdom saw it fit to do so, and I'm comfortable with that. All of you know very well that sometime last year, I indicated that I wanted to step down from my position, knowing very well that I was going to lose my benefits. So I don't have any problems with being chucked out of a position, because I was ready for it anyway, because I knew that uh, you guys were going to come after us, political or otherwise, and the political side you have dealt with us, we are wait for these other plans you have uh, mooted to make sure that you, you silence us. Well, comrades, uh, this is about it. So let it be on record that I'm going to, I'm not going to appeal and uh, I'm not going to attend to the GTP Ideological College because <laughs> ideologically I'm upright. ZANPF stands for Gutsaru Shinji, not Gutsaru Shoma. No Gwarare Msanga no Nataka Kula Tiki Ziva. Iri Rekutiva Shoma wano Guta 
on behalf of Air Kawanda, it's not the Zanu PF way. It's not. Vanu Pavaka Buddha Muno, Vachinorwa, Vaitinika Edu Zimbabwe, and Domataka Jari, Wavana Mina Nababa, Timu Mavari, Tinoda Zimbabwe, no Fumi Wayose, Simuka Zimbabwe. Avana Mutwacha Fira Moon One. Or a, or a selected few. We are not second class citizens. Munikamuno, no. So, I, Yefunga Gutikana, Mima Guta Munuesa Guta, no. Mukatora, Kafchen, Muka Bigram of Vazuakun of Vanemepo, Moti Susino Guta, Rushinji Rolan, Nikakunu, the Lakish Kafcha Murkuchka, as you see. So, Ma benefits a party to a venue. The Gato Sia Bassa in 2007 hours employed by the Minister of Health during nutrition assistant in Mount Down Hospital. In 2007, I decided to quit for more employment to save my party voluntarily. Is a motor name marriage of Gato Zuan Amnanga Bakuza Yangari for voluntary. So I don't care about uh, benefits. All of the majority of the people do not have. These influential positions, but they are living, they are surviving. So I'm not going to die because I'm no longer a political officer. I'm not. Marin Diano pa upenyu, Marin Diano urayavan. Mukande ba yo ne mimi chaba yo aho chapre zaka iba juna kana basa reseju. Don't care about that. And it is a rule because we can go here. Kana manu amu raka fun. Because we do ini no zango. Jine basa re. So, I know Mawia Makata is a Jimwe going forward. Uh, well, I'm here. I have two causes I'm going to pursue as a card carrying member of the party and as a citizen in Zimbabwe. I mean, I'm going to elaborate. <clears throat> the first one is to continue with this fight against corruption in all its forms. I'm not going to stop. Neither is death going to stop me. You can kill the messenger, but you can't kill the message. There will come a time where people will rise up and say, you can't kill all of us. So I'm going to continue the fight against corruption. So, going forward, uh, we are going to convene a meeting of all stakeholders in the fight against corruption, the students, the civil society, uh, war veterans, if they choose to be part of this fight, uh, young farmers, young miners, entrepreneurs, everyone, the church, we are going to invite everyone to, to that meeting uh, to have uh, to constitute what we have termed the Zimbabwe anti-corruption citizens task force why are we having that this we are having this so that the fight is not then restricted to Tsenengamu and Matutu or a few it has to become a citizens fight anything can happen to any one of us but the fight to get uh, Zimba to get rid of corruption in Zimbabwe and all the evils that are uh, bedeviling us is everyone's fight. Like I said last time, those who have chosen to think that this fight is about uh, factions are misinformed. These catalysts do not belong to a faction. I said it last time that at one point they worked with Maim Juru, they worked with the G40, and now they are working with the current leadership. So they don't owe anyone their loyalty. 
they are where their money is. Simple. Even if Zanupiev is to be kicked out of power tomorrow, those who are going to be in power before they are inaugurated, they will find these guys on their doorsteps. <laughs> they go where power is. Some have said, you are, fight, you are fighting so and so because you have been sent by President Mnangagwa to fight General Chiwenga. Some will say, no, you have been sent by General Chiwenga to fight President Mnangagwa because Billy is related to so and so because Kuda is someone's ally. I went to the Heart and Soul program by one of the journalists here. Their paper, paper headline was like, Zanpev youth go for ED allies. But when I was in the interview with the same writers, they were saying, we are told you have been sent by ED to fight Chiwenga. And you say, so what are you guys saying? You have been saying we are, you have gone for ED allies, and you are saying we have been sent by ED to crush Chiwenga. So what is your point? So all of this is mere speculation. You are playing into the hands of an evil group that has created uh, conspiracies, unfounded uh, conspiracies to say we are being victimized because we belong to a faction. When have you be become members of the party? General Chuenga is one person who came out uh, leading us at the front for Operation Restore Legacy. And it was one of the aims of Operation Restore Legacy to get re this country uh, out of it's the mess that it was in, including getting rid of corruption. And is one guy who cannot then stand up today and say, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting on behalf of, of people who are corrupt. He can not do that. So you have desperate people who are trying to, to find where power is to say, can, can you be on our side? We are being victimized for you. It's like one person about why in Mkazomunu, Otanga Kunyepira Nyepira, Yenda Zengenda Dai. Wabatwa, wabatwa, answer to your issues, simple. Buddha mudinawe ya kufunga kutu wakaroiwa. If, if, wine chima jirwele, enda uno test wa urapke, munu wesa hariku daru, then to continue to be in denial. So, ii ya kufunga kutu, people can, they, they then set us against the leadership. It's not going to happen. People will then come out and say, these are factional fights. Maybe the factions have been were created yesterday or the day before yesterday. But as far as I know, there are no factions at the moment in the party. There are individuals, yes, who want to pit the leadership against each other. And I'm not sure if the leadership is going to entertain that. So, we are neither fighting on President Mnanga Goskona or on Vice President Chiwenga's corner, we are fighting for this generation. Tell me who Billy belongs to. Tell me who uh, Tagwire belongs to. Before the ascendance of these guys to the presidency, who was backing them? Because Billy got the monopoly during Gabe's era. General Chiwenga was not a, a vice president then, and President Munangaga was not a president then. So who gave them those tenders? For anyone then to try to say, eh, wanya, zima, zima And the unfortunate thing then is we have had young people who have bought into that eh, senseless narrative to say these are functional <coughs> fights. Some saying eh, President Munangagwa wants to get rid of Vice President Chiwenga and Vice President Chiwenga wants to get rid of President Munangagwa. Vice President Mnangagwa was not in Zimbabwe when Operation Restore Legacy was initiated. He was out of this country. And if Vice President Chiwenga wanted the power, he would have grabbed it at that point. So these issues to say Chiwenga is planning against Mnangagwa or Mnangagwa is planning against Chiwenga, that is nonsense. We can't have the same scenario where you had a G40, which purported to be a special class close to the president, trying to get rid of everyone else when they wanted to weaken the president and then attack him. We can't have the same scenario today. 
So we are not going to allow any efforts or any machinations to separate the two men. If they have their issues, they regard each other as brothers. Let them find their own time to solve the issues. And we are not part of that. I saw last time Vice President Chuenga was in, in, in Kwekwe, touring the maize fields, the president. And someone comes to me and say, No, I was Nabarukurwa. So, Kanavari Kurwa. And I go to the Munuit Zazo ino rosa ita se ino atina atisi koko isu traku wapano pa ne corruption. So on the 14th of uh, January or February, that's next Friday, we are going to have an anti-corruption summit here in Arari, where we are mobilizing multitudes of people, especially the young people, to say this is our generation generational agenda and cause let's come together we may have differences yes i understand the skepticism that people have and the perceptions that people have to say i'm not in anyone's pocket boss and kwan so we are inviting all progressive Zimbabweans to come to that. Like I said, we have written to all the state institutions, all the commissions mandated to come and be answerable to the citizens, to tell us what the problem really is. Last time we had a name and shame, and this other last time we also named some. But what we have now done is we have taken the fight a step further. <clears throat> to hold the leadership accountable. Because Billy didn't create that monopoly by himself. Certain state institutions, departments or ministries provided that platform for Billy and they must tell us why. Those who facilitated that Kuda monopolizes everything, gets everything into his, his hands, must also tell us why. Because we can continue to confront the individuals, but that will not stop the rot in the system. We have pinpointed these individuals, yes, but there are other activities that are happening as we speak everywhere. And this is not just confined to, to those linked to ZANU PF. I was reading in the papers that uh, some millions went missing or were abused in a certain political party. So, Zirikwe Semapata, I am a twins. <laughs> So artistic one side. We are not against a party or for a party. We are against corruption in all its forms. So there are no saints here. Saka ihi yekufunga kuti no vare geva pedra nendo zokwao no azizi zokwe du deshe du tese cause this road is affecting all of us. Saka kana tika zirela mchifunga kuti kwenye ziri raiti. Hezo ka. Saka, let's come together. There is corruption in councils, raw district councils, where we have, uh, where we have uh, a stronghold, the Zalu PF. There is corruption in urban municipalities, where our sister organization, the MDC, also has uh, a stronghold. Nothing meaningful has been happening on both ends. Those whom we elected to be leaders have turned themselves into looters on either side. So it's a generational cause 
It's neither a partisan or a factional cause. So, we are going to announce the website that we are erecting to make sure that uh, whenever we get a piece of information regarding corruption that is being committed or has been committed, committed, we we'll put it on that website. We are going to announce a WhatsApp number and a hotline number. When a case is reported to Zach and nothing happens, let us know. Because we will not stop to expose the road. Because even Zach itself, that's why at one point it was disbanded. Because it had rotten. Some of you may think that we have to get rid of a certain individual in the party to get rid of corruption. We got rid of Mugabe and corruption didn't stop. Because it is a system well connected. It will not help us in any way. So, we have created, we are going to give out the WhatsApp number, the hotline number, our website, and any other platform that we are going to create for purposes of sensitizing the public, uh, naming and shaming again, because uh, this is going to be a task force. So, you, you can sue Tsenengam and you are yet to see if you are going to sue all the citizens. Because if we continue to, to, to name and shame them as individuals, we will not win the fight. So we are now taking it to the national platform where it will have to be coordinated by a, a task force. But we are not backing down on the allegations that we raised against the individuals. And by the way, Obama Tutu went to report these issues to Zach. Sakata midi na kutitinzi kwe kutinho. Zaki, ino tikudi. Ati puseje kuya kuno taura jinu. Tisina V11. Takaziza muna 2018 kuti V11. Rino ita say, rino diwa. Saka we are ready for any fight. But zungu zata haki itandeje kuti. Muhondo au au kandi zombo jeseka. Unukasira kupera. <laughs> so to not move a name stage by stage, I'm Zorore, Kushikamati, a came as the opposition, as you be. Secondly, we are trying to solve corruption so that the econ we, we, we try to find an answer to the economic problem that we find ourselves in, but that won't be enough if we don't resolve. The political problem. So those Zakuti are putting the actors that are pissing on the And I don't have any problems with that. My comrades, Tinga Zameku one data one. Even those who have been following my post on Facebook. Well, even 2019 and back then, these are issues I've been advocating for. Solution in Nika, you know, it lies with all Zimbabweans. But these Zimbabweans, for a start, we have to accept the reality that for now, they are in two major institutions. That is ZANU-PF and the MDC Alliance. That's a fact of life. You cannot run away from the fact that while well, it's my president won an election by around 2.4 million votes, the next contender had 2.1 million votes and you cannot wish that away. It's a fact of life. The difference between the winner and the second container is around 300,000. So
So whoever chooses to ignore that is wasting time. <laughs> Zimbabwe is polarized. That's a fact. Even in the groups wherever you are, be it on, on WhatsApp or on Facebook, people are divided on this corruption issue because they belong to one part or the other. Mbava zeku zanu pfu. Weku zanu pfu wano taiwa ma pasta edu chichi zeku mdisio wano tifari wa chitaiwa wafundi siwe edu they are saints. Because people continue to view national issues with a partisan eye. And that is uh, why I'm saying we cannot move say Nika if we continue to look at issues from a partisan point of view being zanu pfu for MDC. The solution to this problem partly is on the two political parties. Because they are also part of the problem. Not because they are saints, not because they are geniuses. No, but because <laughs> The mess that we find ourselves in is on the shoulders of our two dear political parties. <coughs> and that's a fact. I will ignore that. But I'm telling you, I will ignore that. But I'm telling you, I will ignore that. Varikuchika kutika na president mnanga kwa waka gara pasina ii di pedu pape. Kune ma hadla ina za rime mdc varikuchika kutika na advocate cha misa waka gara ne mkomo wao ii di pao pape. Panevanu who want to see ii di out, they want this situation to degenerate. Panevanu varikuti cha misa ngati pinda mstreet. But it's a misaka did the camera twenty seventeen with you, Monogon of Pintam Street, but Mukasha chain. My pets of Maja Madini were no bought in a constitution in it. In the show, I mean, Murima constitutionality, you are democrat, you have to follow the constitution. So, you are a political result. So, I'm going to pick up a point here, but you know, there could have Mamun are militant and vocal, I'm not going to lead them street. So, these two leaders face extinction. If they are not careful, <laughs> they are being cheered. But you end up going back so. Change the fan by, fan by, fan by, fan by. But when you change, you can't match your own zone. You see, see now that. Why I'm saying so? Those who want to see this situation degenerate want to use the MDC as a front to organize mass protests. But knowing very well that there will be nothing for the MDC after that. Kunenge kubatira ini kuro ya mkoma wangu. Muno jikama kabe jine mwambe ya taurea parufu. But pano garu wa naka yo mumu. Amuwane kana jutu mbaka na kupinda mumba maite nga mwasara. Because you are not part of the family. So Zimbabweans must be wary of being used and achieve nothing. Because you we will go out into the streets, but we will not be in charge of the process to replace those who are moving, we are, we are pushing out. Saka, you know, gonna put anangari makasa, you know, gonna get a berera. My thinking, no matter how wrong you think it may be. When Mugabe was still around and Changre was still around, Chamisa Ainz Muno Amnangagwa. When ED was being attacked in parliament, Chamisa would occasionally come to ED's rescue. When you came to ED's rescue, you know, Chimunu Chani, Cha ED. Saka Ndoda Kwa Vunza Malida Zaya Kuti, Saka Chiri Kukune Tsai Mimi Kusangana. Chi. Chi. I'm told by those who were there that our honorable first lady Amai Mnangagwa had some time with Chamisa, some good five minutes 
Pasaidimu mwenye mwenye asina ma bodyguards hake Wajita na mai guru bamini Mai guru bamini So problem ye nyiri kukuta Zisai kusangana Nje ye hii Does it require Zimbabweans To get in the streets To demonstrate To protest Injured each other So that you guys See that there is need for you to work together. I am not calling for a GNU. Neither am I against the formation of a GNU. But I know that when they sit together, they will find a solution. Whichever way. If Fanam Nangava could sit down na na Ian Smith, who massacred hundreds of thousands of people, et nyadwona chimoyo tembwe, gondola mkushi luangwa solez gunanashi bondo, why not sit down with a fellow brother? Ian Smith akafano kuchembera ari kushurugu. Asina kana muna akambata. Aine his farm more than 500 hectares. Chichi nota zisa ininewe. Because we are differing on the how part of it. But it we agree that corruption must go. Jobs must be created. Our economy must be back on its feet. All these other issues about investments and everything, we, we agree. But we are just disagreeing on the whole part of it. Which is why we have mooted this idea of the Zimfest agenda. That we are going to engage our leaders. Kutiva uh, Gari. Imagine a team where you have a president Munangagwa, Vachuenga, Vamo Ada, Monti Vachamisa, Vahoshman Nua, Vabita. Mumuna Mumani, my strength is and my weakness is Aki. Apana no Gunajes. But if I'm of the opinion that if they combine their force, they are, if we combine forces, if we combine ideas, the zeal that all of them have will get Zimbabwe out of this mess. Because the first thing that has to be achieved is that Zimbabwe must have... <laughs> what must be achieved first is there must be stability in Zimbabwe. And the situation out there is threatening big time. And all of us will be losers. Inenge nyaya ya Egonzo rakati done zairi wai Huku ika seka Imbuka ika ramba Mbuzi ika shetuka shetuka Mombe ika ikinua But paka zobo nyua gonzo Vese shaka pera So I'm telling you Not because I'm speculating I'm telling you because I know What's happening If our leaders Don't act now or all of them risk being on the wrong side of history. Mukuru mukuru anga ai garipfunde. Vaka garapasvano wiridana. Pane vamo vari kuchika kuti no tino gona kumezwa. Vamo oti ah tino gona kusanitiza chinuiji. Ndinzo e varume. Pamuru kufunga kuti muno gona kushika muno gona kutaja kushika. Ma Zimbabwe nza aku higi nwa imese Because you are part of this mess Mujifunga kuti noho Tinofanda kujita tega Tinofanda kujita tega Nga jite wezi so that is used to die so So Musawa 14 Tuluku ita the anti-sanctions Conference Anti-corruption conference I mean La jaira kakuti sanction Because the camp with the anti-sanctions magica. They got to declare a day. But for me, it was a good effort, well. But we don't have control over Kubiskwa Pao. Let's deal with the Zunu Zatino Konakudini. Dila Nazo. Tino Kweta, do you know even during the inclusive government, when I'm Tabara Vakabuda and Hachangara Vakabuda, Vakadini Vakanum Zama Kuti Bisai, Bati wali zochi pambo wakaramba nisi pambo chani. Chao wakadai wa makashi torele hii chengeta hii chunu chani. So focusing on sanctions is not going to help Zimbabwe in any way. 
Let's deal with those things that we have influence over or those that we can change. That's my 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 view. Can our Amazon have visa? You know, but I just say, but I visa nengu ayao because my interest are only do is Zimbabwe. That I just say, I can see it. So Musa fourteen, Tirukuita and corruption conference. Then Musa twenty one, February. Yeah, time with the twenty first. Yeah, former and the late president Vamugabe. Yeah, because it's a national holiday. So, and this is a good team. Vasara go party. Vachaita say he need a card carrying car. So, Musa twenty one is a holiday. Tafunga is ma Vamwe. Hey, Zimbabwe, you know, Tunga ni Zevan. Tosheza, Ramnangagua. Tosheza, Chamisa. Never move. Tos things go good, and not in the Roman woman, we go go. Dian. There will be no party regalia. No chanting of slogans. Tinao and were neutral. Timbo na kuti kana i dina chamisa kaka shaka maongo pana ano nyungu dukai. Wata uri ne mazimbo abenzo kuta suda kushanda pamechete ne skunzi ro wata uri dokuto why wasiri kuda kuti tite maoni ra pamu chuma chum suku. Kana kuvai pa apo then zimbabwe nzu uno kuti who is their problem. Because I'm not going dialogue. So we want to know as a generation Kuti, ava go nere kufo my united front Mumene muma kupati kwake But on national issues To find a way Ye kuti no shanda tesese I don't think Solution here Zimbabwe lies Na wampeki kutiba uye muno Waite shuttle between State house and Morgan Changrai House. Kutivans, which I miss an Amnanga, but I was going to say, I believe we can do it as Zimbabweans. So I'm going to appeal to, to, to my colleagues, my bosses in the party, and those from the other side, to try and knock some little bit of, of more sense into our, our, our esteemed leaders, to see reason. So, je kuna mata, tino kuna kuna mata, tono tanya, to buda, tichi, papa ya kuna national sports, to buda, tichi toro wa mapiki, tichi tanya mgomo. Batikana wa nita zedo akashaya moyo wa kuchenge tavani, moyo wa kuzira chaka na kiravani, then they cannot continue to fool us, that wano chika mwari. Mungo hoti no antineta national day of prayer, mungo hoti no I am a pastor, no you are not. Zimbabweans have suffered enough. And you cannot continue to hold citizens at, ran at ransom because you, you are telling us that we have differences. On the 21st of February, we are we to my party to dig it to home, but you know, there are no good to know. Jinepa, you know, regular, no good pamba, but not one to go to Tunga Mirida. Zanpef and MDC commands a following huge. Following in Zimbabwe, and we cannot ignore that. I am not going to join the MDC. I don't have any intentions to do so. I will remain in my party, but I don't look at Obey Stoll as an enemy. I don't look at Chamisa as an enemy. After the 2018 elections, we are going to phone the Chamisa. We are going to phone the number of advocates in the Kabapa because they knew you could know more. No second Ayaka is a brother. Those who say now I am only the how part of it, but we agree on issues. 
So, we are going to push this Zim first agenda. That corruption must fall. That Zimbabweans must unite. But if our leaders choose not to fight in our corner, in uniting Zimbabweans, in fighting corruption, then they, they must know that Zimbabweans at one point will be fed up in the Then we'll find a solution. It's in the evil. Then we'll and it's very possible. If they think that it will not work, no. It will work. <laughs> and even do our chat, they will not work. And our solution will work. So I, in conclusion, believe that we have the solutions as Zimbabweans. Those who believe in the fight against corruption come on the 14th at a venue to be advised. This is our gener generational fight. Mabiru harukit kwa warume kunze ukunde yekunge nyika yekupara na mangwana. And if we don't stop what is happening across the divide, we are doomed as a generation. Those who want to continue to parrot positions of their political parties, parrot positions of their leaders, you can continue to do so. We don't have any problems with that. And, and your efforts to derail Chitima Chevanu Chichasimuka Achibudiri because it will not stop by its income's death or demise. Zimbabweans think enough is enough. And it's high time. If our leaders continue to play games on us and say dialogue, 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 and they don't want to have a dialogue genuinely. I'm telling you, time is running out. All of us who one day stand to, to blame ourselves and say we lost an opportune uh, moment and chance that we had to make sure that we deal with these issues. So we are going to write as the Zim first agenda to all our leaders. Humbly and politely highlighting to them and inviting them to come for the citizens summit on the 21st. Apana no chanda slogan, apana no feka regalia, apana no wa indi ano ita se, galangu ya watita urire kutiba funge hii nesu. Saka we are going to notify the police because we have a constitutional right to gather and the police are not a problem because it's not the streets it's not the same thing we be at a closed venue when we have security we have to have a security we have to have a security and everything we have to have a security we have to have a security we have to have a security but you must come and show leadership so this is what I thought I must share with you. So those who believe in the anti-corruption fight, we are going to give you the uh, my details by end of day. say on which platforms. Atina, we are not planning against a party or a government or anything. We are planning big time against corruption. And those who are we promoter, those who believe in a united front in Zimbabweans. You can then subscribe to the Zimfest agenda, which is a, a non-partisan movement, a movement by the citizens to unite themselves to make sure that they come together as one formidable and tactical force to fight against anything and everything that is uh, making us suffer and making sure that our leaders come together and without the intervention of foreigners, be it Sadiq or AU, Tiwane solution yedu muno as as Zimbabweans. Saka ibasa ratanga those who are comfortable join us. Atinamunu atriku fosa atinamunu atati vapati kwa and we are not going to be asking for membership cards. The one we don't care who you are and where you are coming from. Progressive organizations, progressive young people, especially those of my generation. 
please come forward. We can be labeled G40. This is one issue that I have forgotten. Some are labeling as G40. Some are saying uh, Munanga Gas faction. Some are saying Chiwenga's faction. Some have created another faction for us, the uh, Opam Chunguri faction. Some are saying we are being sponsored by CAA, CIA to destabilize. Some are saying we have been sent by the Tyson Wabantu movement. All sorts of issues. Saka Gumbo, Riku Tyson Wabantu movement, Ruoko, Riku CIA, Musoro, Riku Naima movement. Do one who are going to work with manager. Wana wana funga kuta atina njikere. Zoku funga osha kanaka. Tiri marumba asinga zile shakanaka la nyika. Tinofana kufungi ruwane vamo. And we say no to that. So, this is why I called for this uh, press uh, conference. Uh, my brother is not around. You can check with him. Wano kona ku. Wondo ayi ruwene nzira ime cheteka. No one in Zrata Gawanda. Was in Independent Opano, Dinesha Nani told Goku, you know, Kashika, Pakasa, Jakati, Jakati, and Renda. Saka end the Pano, Kanapanaj, you know, and the So, any questions? Mukoma, blessed, you come clang. Yeah, sure. I just want to clarity from you. You, you appear to be blowing hot and cold. Because you appear to be saying that um, the president and this vice are, are, appear to be clean. But you also say in Kutisoni, when you named and shamed people in the party like the Secretary of Administration, nothing happened. But now you have been suspended because you have named people who are outside the party and are corrupt. Mm -hmm. And you are, are sent, uh, suspended by, uh, by the highest body in, in, in ZANU-PF. I, I know say the highest decision-making body is Congress. But in between the highest decision-making body is political. And this is the core of ZANPF that has suspended you for naming corrupt people outside the party. And these people who suspended you who sit in that political is corrupt. It's those people that they are allegedly defending. Okay. Nditange uh, name Mkoma Blessed. The supreme policy-making organ of the party in between congresses is not the political bureau. It is the Central Committee, where I was a member before I was procedurally suspended. The guys who suspended us were accusing us of doing things unprocedurally. But they also continued to suspend us unprocedurally. <laughs> but they should have arranged us before a disciplinary committee to answer to allegations if there were any allegations. But they continued, continued to suspend us. And ah, you never know the bus. But you are not allowed to tell them come up blessed in the eve. At now, we suspend one a president and a vice president. The political bureau is not constituted in our Mnanga Guanawashi and Gaiwa. Why do you continue to concentrate on the two individuals when a whole political bureau in one more than twenty? Why not say? Uh, why are you asking me, Guti? Urukuti president, wako na vice president, wali clean. Apana pana bota wala wali clean. Antina. Neither did I say they are dirty. Not having mentioned them that they are corrupt. Doesn't mean kuti I didn't. Antina, antina kuta wala kutivari. Antina wala kutivari corrupt wala. Antina kuta wala. Ndine wano andaka taura. Pana apa. Antiti. Kuti ngana na ngana na ngana. Why are you then roping Mamuanu? But it's Nakudoma. If people have got evidence of the president being corrupt and the, the vice president being corrupt, we are not monopolizing this fight. You can come out and say, Wanatsenga Mwaka Siri Rapakat. Wari corrupt in Dinan Gina Ning, Tobata Nizakawako or Tawana Nuedu. Twitter Maunira Pam. And it Taka suspend one political bro. Yatola a collective decision. Though I always in a man to you down the end. But I didn't push you appeal and was in a bazaar in Peter position. I'm comfortable in Dirikunze. I admit the, the independence of a card carrying member. Control him, Pichana Kakano Senachika. I hope Vunswap Vunswap Sterek. 
Unongozi msiwe ya msiwe. Unongo chingo ito ya unongo chitini. Ya unongo chita. Wano wajito ta hata kampeza. Unga peza muna nenge inini nukundi visa pachikaru. Unongo nondi nyara zafo wani yeka. Mga be tried it. And andina kunyara hala. Ndi kana na nas. Imi mato uya kwete because kuna PC. But because kuna tseni ngamu. So I got to go. I didn't So I'm not going to be silent for a whole year. I'll just push my issues and don't believe in. So if anyone has got evidence, a good one, we are here. No, we have not uh, cleared anyone. I didn't monopolize a fight. But chatiri kuramba. They check us. I'm not going to pin them. We fight. They are not going to fight. We are not going to fight. We are not going to fight. We Endai mono okera imimi. Moshika moyu okera. Mwa umbira mazamu. Mwa umu watika. Na yo wachita kuruwa. Waita say. Vorwa. But Isusu wa not take part to that. Koza atisiku iziva fight yani. Yachu. All we know is Zimbabweans must unite. All we know is corruption must fall. Simple. You, you keep saying we. Keep... As citizens. <laughs> <laughs> I think, blessed, you, you cannot pretend you have seen it for yourself, the support that we have. We knew we were going to get support, but not of this magnitude. Even when we attack our one, now, Okma Shure Uko. Let bygones be bygones, corruption must fall. So it's no longer about sending a member to two or a few individuals. It's about us as a people. And the machine, I'll tell you. I will protect them because they have been calling and saying, I think that I always do, but you are right. Because they think could by being members of the national executive, it is a lifetime achievement. You could a member national member. I am 37, turning 38 this year. God willing, I still have time. You could Wanenga wasi sipo pandu zoka futu mpati machu Saka antina kana pressure <laughs> Wano totonga waka peza Vesa waka chinjana Kana wakita kuchinjana Ndiri ipo Ndoto zo uya ufuti Ndoto tonga ufuti Ndopangu Antiti Wiche ba position Antina kenda na yo To zoka as young people Because at one point We are going to converge as a generation And put these differences aside And say ah Taitangu wati chitumano waka kutawati wati bikire. Waru gaza pinzi ni mazondo. Hakuma nangati gari pa poto teka. Bata atisati tashika edu yuko kwa sofa. Tumbo fighter. Yo corruption ni nukubata ni za. Nika. Inini ndichiri kati kering member. Kupati. Bata I'm a citizen first before I belong. To any political party. Saka. And ina pressure ni wa jara. Wanoto kono panana mateme ya waru kuda waka peza. Toto so uyao. Saka. Gawasa funge kutitine fight na Westerek. But yon gawasa protect the jete corruption. Thank you. My sister. At the beginning of your presentation, you made reference to some threats that you're getting. Are you at liberty to share some of it? Where it's coming from? No, I've, 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 I've informed uh, my lawyers and members of my family. Kuti, this is the information that I got. No, we watch all the watch and attend and I pan and choose one. And no, it's Muna and Dita say. And do that. So if anything, one is your big tangira. Yeah, you watch your attitude, I was on Vunza. I know Sarajiva would say, wouldn't know. Eh, Dian Saka, I'm not going to divulge because in drinking that blower cover. Even when it sits, see, Nanny, I asked Munu, except I'm not planning or if. Anushfarira. Wano kuna kusandi defender fine. <coughs> but kutikuwa mwe waka anushia uti shaka kuna kuitika shiri wrong. Saka, if anything happens to me, my lawyers will come forward. Ini muna mkwa ndivika shoto pera. Kwa zina yu ufuti mchewa viga saka, don't worry stere. Tika chika kufa. Wamo anufa, wasinga ure ni maa katelisi, ni maa kateoza. Uru ni maa politicians. Unotongo kachi zikuwa ni mvura ukafa. Kana kutongo kachi zikuwa ni drinker kanda ni uro isiri ya watofa. Saka if I'm to concentrate on in a uye rufu, ume mai kutiza rufu. 
but we are me happy to take another so far. The the next one is here. We are Mara Mara. No far jungle. We are not going to see the road in. We see the But people must know that when they have power, they must be sober with power. Power is temporary. Whether I power the marry or I power anywhere, it's temporary. 